Hello and welcome to something completely different. Today we will be going back in time, revisiting some of the most ridiculous, oddball, and frankly quite terrifying adverts slash commercials. Oh, this isn't. This isn't. This isn't good. This is. This isn't good because if I if I know any of these, that's not a good sign, right? Chat from the past forty years. Hello and welcome to the Caveman Games. Let's go down to the mate toss. Grog Whoa. spinning his mate. Grog Wait, is that a real game? It was a different time. Oh, the days where I you could- You like throw women? Fling my wife across the room and no one would bat an eye. Revisiting the glorious insanity of yesteryear. This is the video game time capsule. I've never seen one of these. Ever. I, I don't know anyone that that has one of these. When you get hold of the Nintendo Entertainment System. When you master I gotta love the F Zero X esque soundtrack right there. Yeah, Rob, I've never I've never played with that or knew anyone that had it. When you master Rob the video robot. I feel like at this point they were just slapping the word video in front of anything. When you pick up your video controller and play on your video TV. You know that that light gun was really good. Wasn't it like it just it felt like it worked. Like I don't know something about it. It was like crispy and like that it was tactile like when you pulled it like it felt really good. And then like they came out with like a bunch of like other ones and they they sucked. I played like all I played like all the other ones like the the super scope and like all the other like kind of like gun peripherals. They all suck. They had like the one for like uh lethal enforcers. That one sucked ass. Like, the zapper was the best one. You know how it worked, but it was perfect? Uh, I, I believe the way it works is that um, the screen, w when you when you click the button, the screen actually, like, flashes. Like, uh, like it's like a fake gun, gun flash, but, like, it basically turns the entire screen black, except for a couple squares where the duck is. And um, if the sensor detects that you're pointing it at the white square, I think, then it will... Register hit, I think is how it works. Your video pads. Edible Nintendo Entertainment System, the one to play with Rob, the extraordinary video robot, batteries not included. Ah, the robot batteries not included. The robot cousin of some assembly required. How can you get all the thrills of Gauntlet 2 to your very own home? Dude, those sticks suck. Those American bat sticks are the worst. Okay, that's not only a bat stick, but... What I feel like is a little bit of a theme with these older video game commercials is the amount. You know what I mean? Like the arcade sticks, it's like a bat. It looks like a little, like a little baseball bat. Those ones are the worst. Of nonsense and hijinks without really ever telling anyone anything about the game, such as this child Mr. Beaning his way home just to play this arcade game. Simple. Just pick up the new NES. Although I am a massive fan of that. Unnecessary, but hilarious. Did anyone learn anything about the game? No, but... Up the new NES. Well, I'm uh, sold. Okay, new okay. NES version. Gauntlet 2. With all the graphics, oh, sound, and features yeah. of the arcade original. And I'd sound more excited about that, but my wife just left me. Her middle name was Gauntlet. Where'd you get your hands on Konami's new video game? Oh, thank God, there's an alligator there. For a minute there, I thought this chap was really, really enjoying <laughs> oh this video oh game. Oh me. Oh my God, it did look like that. that it did look like that. Bayou Billy for the first time ever. I played Bayou Billy. <laughs> Can you understand anything that this man is saying? I don't really remember what happens in it, but I remember playing it. Shooting. And of course, it's after. In one swamp, stop an adventure. The adventures of Bayou Billy for Nintendo. It all starts when I get out this here swamp. You really give me wild now. One thing I do have to appreciate is just how direct these are. It's like, what does it include? Stomping, shooting, zapping, crocodiles, get it. Games from the Nintendo Entertainment System? Like they were real. Come on. Dude, I don't know these games. I actually thought yeah, I would know them more, but I don't know them. You, did you guys know I never played Castlevania? This is Castlevania, right? I've never played the original Castlevania or any Castlevania game. Ever. Never played one. And those dudes in Castlevania are pretty intense. 
And I'll even admit that the sound of Konami games is jet. Because why would I play it when I could just play Metroid again? You know, I, I'll just play Metroid again. Fun fact, the myth that sitting too close to a TV damages eyesight is true for the old cathode Jeremy. ray tube TVs due to the directed radiation. That's... Really? Really, Kill, Kill King? I didn't know that. That's jamming. So much so that I nearly put it on a piece of toast, I did. Konami video games so real, they'll blow you away. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Child World sounds like some sort of supermarket to purchase children. Either that or some sort of FBI sting operation to catch Peter Fars. Where the art travels in space, the tougher it gets. Give me nothing to back to Earl! Boy, in your room. The tougher it gets. That's like the, um, the Atari, uh, stick. I thought they were black. Those things sucked ass, by the way. The old Atari sticks, they're the fucking worst. And they have one that's, like, even, like, more annoying. Like, I, dude, I don't even know how to explain it. So it looks like a remote control. It has a stick sticking out the top and the buttons are on the sides. Anyone know what I'm talking about? No, it's not. I, I don't think it's a knob one. It has like a stick on the top and the buttons are on the sides of it. That one was freaking shit. We're back. Cosmic Arc by a magic. I've never played Cosmic Arc. Dude, actually, I thought I, thought I would have played more of these games. Actually, I guess not. Connected to the TV by your parents. I love how they have to stipulate how to hook it up so that the kid doesn't get the impression that they're just gonna buy the cartridge and it's just gonna beam it into their face. September 19th, we gave Ari Petrakowski a new piano teaching system. Oh yeah, I messed up. Ah yes, back in the day, Nintendo and people did educational games also. Hey man, don't talk shit about Mario teachers typing. Bum, 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 bum. People think that man helped me out so much. I think I'm weird, but I don't know why. One month later. I don't know, mate, but I think maybe this, this might have something Freddy to do with Freddy the fish was a shit. What has happened to that man? I like to tan my face, but not this bit. No, that, that's just in I played a lot of the old games with my dad. Actually, Kill King. Window to my soul. The first game I played with my mom was Ragnarok Online. The Miracle, the revolutionary piano teaching system. What an encouraging name. Miracle. As in, it'll take a miracle for this child to do anything that's not shit. Mark versus the Juggernaut! Yeah. Ah, it wouldn't be a 90s video game commercial without some Simpsons action thrown in. Dude, the Simpsons games are really good. They had, like, the the OG one. And it was like, dude, I remember, like, there was one where, like, you could... You could skateboard on the Great Wall of China. That one was kind of cool. And then um, Bart's Nightmare. Those ones are really good. Every system. Don't forget Krusty's Fun House. Oh, the arcade one's really fun. But like that wasn't that wasn't on anything. Yeah, yeah. The ar the arcades the arcade one was really fun. The Simpsons arcade. But you know what was really fun it was like the old X Men arcade that had like four four like dude I think there was only like six players. The you know, old old like uh, X Men. X Men, and then they had um, Captain America and the Avengers. That one was really fun too. The old, the old Captain America and the Avengers, like side scrollers, like two players. Oh, actually, no, it was four players. Yeah, like Hawkeye, Hawkeye, Iron Man, Captain America, and Angel. I think. With help Arch, Arch Angel. Probably my favorite one though was Turtles in Time. Turtles in Time and Dungeons and Dragons. What was it called? Mistara. Chronicles of Mistara. That was my favorite one. You know, the best part of telling you about the new Atari XL home computers is that I get to try them out. Yeah, 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 I know. I have it. I have it. I should play it, actually. They sent me everything. I feel like a kid in a computer store. And the best thing about what you see here is that everything works with everything else. In other words, it's a system. But a system that's no big deal to use. Look, with any computer, you have to learn a few new things. But Atari is going to a lot of trouble to make it easier for you. This is such a lame commercial. See, it's testing itself. You. ZZ, dude. I, I sleep. What a bad commercial. Smug bastard. I'll just freeze to the strike zone. The wall. The wall. Yeah. But fellas, who destroys the gun? Luther destroys, destroys the gun. <laughs> He's like, dude, he's like the giga chat of the group. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Like it, you could always give it to Kronk. Oh, 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 oh. Next. <laughs> Entrez dans la légende de Zelda. 
L'aventure dont Ooh. vous êtes le héros. Méfiez-vous. Méfiez-vous. As majestic as this is, I can't seem to get over one thing. Is it just me or does the French accent We're gonna play that. We're gonna play it. Over elaborate perfume We're playing that advert. today. L'aventure dont vous êtes le héros. Méfiez-vous. Méfiez-vous. The Legend of Zelda. Smell like you haven't bathed in three months. Speaking of Zelda... I'm a legend on your Nintendo Entertainment System. Zelda! <laughs> it's very difficult to find the words for this one. We're making an adventure game. How should we do the advert? Live action swordplay? No. Maybe a cartoon? No. My weird cousin Brian doing a nightmare fuel modern art performance that would make David Lynch fear fart? <laughs> what, the, what the hell is this? You're fucking damn right. You may have noticed that most of these adverts I'm featuring here are from the USA. That's because A, they're easy to find, and B, because... Let me show you what the British equivalent is. It's got more changing screens, more to challenge any game wizard. Safe to say, they are boring as f I remember when I was a kid, I would go to the dentist and I like hated going to the dentist, but then it was kind of cool because the dentist had a Donkey Kong machine on free play. I would just play it like all the time. You can add on um, modules to expand the system into an 80K computer. You can press this button and the man on the screen does a- Actually, I don't think it was Donkey Kong. It was Donkey Kong Jr. actually. Donkey Kong Jr. was really fun. Backflip or something. That's a good one. Donkey Kong Jr. Cheerio. And I'm sure you recognize the Atari home computer. They're all together the McDonald's after the dentist and then McDonald's closed. Computer. Oh. Circa 1980s. Quite revolutionary, of course. <laughs> Dude, for Learning real. Languages. Playing so games. I mean, it's so boring. And I'll be honest, I'll take crapping my video pants over that any day. But enough from me, what do you think? I'm always keen to get- Uh, you play this the, as the kid. Like the, the, the monkey. Get weird and wonderful suggestions from you beautiful people about any crazy or bonkers games you may want to see on the channel, or even for more stuff like this. On that note, if you want to see- These games were so good. I actually really love, like, Super Mario 2. The game is really fun. More, make sure you hit that subscribe button, baby. And if you enjoyed this, please drop the video a like, or I'll send this bloke around to all your family engagements. Ah! Big thank you to my patrons, as always. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio!